Hello everyone, today I want to share with you a trick of how to combine cell contents with a desired number format. I have two examples here. One is to how to make comments based on percentage difference. And the other one, I want to teach you another new um, number format, which is the multiplier sign. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So in this example, we have this sample data. We have for each employees, we have a recommended merit increase, uh, which is essentially the salary increase percentage. And we also have the actual uh, merit increase spend, which is like, for example, the decision that manage, managers made for that employee. So based on the results, we want to make comments for those employees. So look at the comments that I have. If you look at my formula, it's pretty straightforward. I, I'm Base, I'm using the concatenate to combine my uh, my comments of whether it's spent less than the recommendation or more than the recommendation, um, and then I want to combine by the percentage there. However, if you only combine with uh, just the number like G9 minus F9, you're going to get number like this, which is not what you want, right? What you want is something like this with the 2.1% and you, you don't want to get the minus sign in front of it. So how do we do that? Well, the key here is that remember when you have formulas like this with um, the, my, uh, the, the minus, it's actually a number there. And then we want to convert this number into a tax. How do we do that? Okay, so look at here. This is exactly like, look at the formula here. This is how we do it. So for example, if you look at my formula, um, I still have the minus to start with. I have the difference between the spend and the recommendation. And then I use an absolute formula to make sure that whether it's a negative number or positive number, I get a positive number. So this is to get the absolute value of the difference of those two numbers. And then after that, I'm going to say that, okay, with this absolute value, I want to convert it to tax with this tax formula. So my value here is the absolute number, and then I want to convert it to this number format. So remember, like just here, I want to emphasize that you do need to have the double quote to make sure you have the number format correctly. And then after you build this formula, you type enter and you have the 2.10%. You know you're doing this right when you have this green triangle on the top left because that shows that you are already converted, uh, converting it to a tax number, a tax uh, format. So now what you need to do is really just copy this formula into back into the comment formula that you have um, already. So you see basically we're doing exactly the same. So let me just run through the formula here. So my formula here is basically saying, well, if my recommendation is the same as my spend, then no comment. Uh, if my spend is less than the recommendation, then I'm going to say less than the recommendation by the tax that we just created. And otherwise, I'm going to say more than the recommendation and then comment, and then again with the tax that, that I just created. And then close all the brackets. And here you go. That is how you get to the 2.1 in your common tax. And then when you copy this formula down, see, this is exactly what we need. Like for example, in this case, it's less, so we say it's less than 1%. So I hope that can save you some time. And let's look at another example with the multiplier sign. So here, for example, in our uh, data sample, uh, we for each of the employees, we have a bonus multiplier recommended for them. So for example, this person, we recommend a two times uh, bonus versus their target bonus for them. But then, well, apparently this person got lucky and then this person actually uh, had a manager decided to give him or her 2.5 times of the target bonus. And, um, and then we want to reflect that in the comments as well. 
Uh, so before I go further in there, I want to emphasize, like for example, sometimes you might get people asking you to make this uh, in a multiplier format. For example, like 2x and then 2.5x. So actually, I want to I want to emphasize for you that this is not the right way to do it. If you do it like this, you are essentially converting a number to a text and therefore your comments cannot recognize it and you cannot do any um, calculation for it. And this is not what you want sometimes and you have to make it um, still as a number but then you need to change the number format how do we do that so first select the number that you need to change the format right click go to format cells and then go to custom so here is where you type uh, the number format that you want to create. For example, for our format, I want to be uh, with two decimal um, digits and then I want it to have the X. So this is the form and then you see the sample there. So in this case, the X is not going to affect the, num uh, the value of your number. So let's go to OK and then you see here exactly this is how we how we can make this a lot easier and then actually when you subtract this number with this number you still get a number sign like it's still a number it's not a tax so this is a trick that's very handy and you can essentially use any tax you want like for example you can say usd if that's uh, what you want you can say something else so yeah, you can be creative there as long as it helps. Um, so, okay, so now we have it like this, but then we still need to solve the problem here, you see? Like we still have the minus zero five, which we don't want, we want something like this. So it's more than recommendation by 0 0.5 times. How do we do that? Um, it's actually essentially the same. So let's hide this. Um, and this is what we want. So you see, actually, if you look at the formula, first we absolute this to make sure it's always a positive number. And then we change the text format like this, which is exactly what, what we just did. Like this is exactly the format um, that we just converted uh, the, the multiplier here into. And then after you build this formula, you just um, enter it get the right tax, remember seeing uh, the green triangle there, uh, and then basically copy the formula into your um, into your concatenated formula. You see like this part, and then here, like this part, and then enter it, here you go. So let's copy the formula down, and um, see, this is exactly what we need. If you find this video helpful, please help you like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or any comments, please let me know as well. Thank you for watching and you have a nice day.